Okay. I got a Porsche as well. Look, look at my Porsche. It's a good Porsche. I don't normally buy Porsches in Need for Speed games, and I thought, oh, look, I can buy this Porsche, so I will buy the Porsche. Because, like, honestly, I'm not a huge Porsche fan, or I never really was. Like, I, you know, when you're younger, like, there was always a joke amongst my friends that, like, Porsches are, like, for old men. It's like the midlife crisis car. And then, like, you hit a certain age. We, you know, and you just think, yeah, you know what, like, I don't care. Like, I think the Porsche is pretty good. <laughs> like, yeah, it's really just like when you're young, you're like, oh, it's not cool. And then when you get older, you're like, eh, it's fine. And then gradually you go, oh, actually, it's a very, very reasonably priced car. Sports vehicle for me and my golf buddies to drive. <laughs> Kind of sad that there's almost zero customization options for this one though, because it's like the fancy super speedy sport one. Yeah, this doesn't really matter. I'm gonna win. So I'm just messing around here it's just to get some money. It doesn't even matter if I win. Just so I can go and do the high heat race, because like they think you having some low level amount of money is somehow a stake for this when it's just like the amount of money you have to have to engage in a high heat race is so low that it will literally not buy a single ultimate part or elite plus part in the game so it's like oh no i could have spent that money on neon oh my god <laughs> I missed out on my pink neon because of this high heat race. Seriously, like... The stuff you unlock for the collectibles aside from cars, which is already pretty mediocre, uh, is pretty bad. It's like, hey guys, you can make your tire smoke candy pink. And I'm like, oh, oh, wow. You can have different... Does it even give you different nitrous, or is it just like neon and horns and stuff? It's really dumb stuff that I'm like, I guess this would be more funny and more fun if I was playing online. And then I could just do stupid meme shit, but like... I don't care, I don't want to drive an ugly car the whole time, so... <laughs> Unless it's like, gonna annoy people online, so... It's just offending myself at that point. Come on, man. Neon is so 2002 anyway. Or 1998 to be more. Like, come on, man. Didn't they ban Neon? <laughs> like, someone, one of my mates, one of the car guys again, said to me, yeah, they banned Neon. Because, uh, well, they banned Neon in the UK because, like, like, Chavy guys were putting it on their Citroen Saxon going, oh yeah, I got neon. And then they get in a car crash inevitably. And the neon would break and crack, and all of that neon fluid would then just seep out into the environment. And they were like, yeah, though, like, if it's not bad enough that these kind of boy racer lads, lads, lads guys are going around in their Burberry caps in their. Voxel courses and smashing into each other because they think they're Dominic Toretto uh, and causing problems anyway. They're now also leaking green fluid all over the floors <laughs> with their glow sticks attached to the bottom of their cars. It looks fucking ridiculous. To be honest, it was one of those things that even at the time I was like, God, this looks kind of tacky, doesn't it? And everyone was like, no, no, man, it's real cool. And I was like, God, this looks tacky. And then, like, the, it just became super unfashionable. Well, it got phased out because it was unsafe. Then they made a replacement that safer compound for Underglow. And everyone was like, yeah, it just looks really kind of shit, doesn't it? <laughs> and I mean, they were right. I think the worst one I've seen in video games was 
motorbikes with neon attached because it's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I've seen a few games where you can customize your motorcycle and put neon on the motorcycle and I was just like, oh my god, that looks like the worst. <laughs> oh. oh well, never mind. You guys play the PSP Midnight Club free game called Dub Edition? Yeah, I did. I played that shit to death. And I don't even know why, because it was really fucking bad. I knew it at the time. It was just bad. Like, it was okay for a PSP game, but it wasn't, like, the best one on the system. I was just playing it because it was the racing game I had on the PSP. And it gave me an excuse to avoid my horrible parents. <laughs> like, so I just go and hide in my room and just play Tekken, Dark Resurrection, and um, Midnight Club Free Dub Edition, and like that game's big on, on the back of the box thing was, you can modify cars, super bikes, choppers, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. And it has like three choppers in the game and like four super, three super bikes in the game. And that's about it. And it's like, you can do SUVs, and I do not understand modding games where they're like you can have a modded cadillac escalade because i'm like i don't fucking care <laughs> and i don't know anyone who does but okay maybe someone does i guess what they need to make is a modified um a modified car game where it's just mpvs that's that's basically the equivalent to me of like what is the point in this? I will drive this slow, hideous car that only, like, soccer moms actually cover and, like, rappers on their way to court. <laughs> like, I, I honestly don't know. Not even rappers anymore, I don't think. I think it's such, like, an alts thing. But okay, fine, whatever. It's just not cool, man. Uh, it's like, uh, but I think there would be some humor, at least, in, like, Midnight Club, Renault Espace Edition, because <laughs> you could just have all of these like similar cars to that, and you could just be like, yeah, yeah, and just like put like hydraulics on them and shit, and it would just be like the most like tongue-in-cheek, stupid, like Top Gear-esque, ridiculous thing ever. And like, I want them, I want someone to make this game and it to be completely like, like. It's not trying to be like, haha, get it guys, we're joking. It like seems to be really serious. Like, no, 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 this is a serious game. And like the, the joke's kind of funnier if they're <laughs> being really serious about it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, if they're like Citroen Picasso, Citroen Zara Picasso. So yeah, look at the neon. <laughs> like, yeah, I think that would be funny. Okay, maybe I'm just weird. Is there a speedboat equivalent of Need for Speed games? Is there a market for that? Maybe there is. Oh, you want to talk about weird PSP games that I just played to death because it's like, you know... The great thing about the PSP is you can basically take it anywhere, so like, I'm just playing it all the time. It's such a missed opportunity, that platform. The PSP, I think it came too early, but if you said to people now, especially now that the Switch has got, come and gone, hey man, here's a backwards compatible like PS3, PS4 you can carry around. It can do HD really well, like 4K maybe and you could play loads of classic PlayStation games on it. People would be down for that, uh, especially if there's actually good games for the platform. Like, the problem with the PSP was, like, most of the games on the... Like, it had some excellent games. Like, Dark Resurrection was amazing. But, like, the God of War prequels were just so boring. Like, they did the job, but there was no love in them. I played, um... Is it Ascension? No, it wasn't Ascension. It might have, been, might have been Chains of Olympus I played. And I didn't buy the other ones, but I just played that. 
and I even had a few UMDs. I had Sin City, but like a weird edited Sin City to fit on the disc, so it felt a bit incongruous. And for some reason, I got Corpse Bride. I think just because it was like a pound, and I had a pound in my pocket, and I was like, "Oh, okay, I'll buy Tim Burton's Corpse Bride on UMD." And I played it, Tim Burton's Corpse Bride, and this is how memorable Tim Burton's Corpse Bride is for me personally, and most Tim Burton movies. So, goths don't at me, because I'm probably more goth than you. <laughs> but like, um, dude, like I listen to that music all the time. Uh, but like. I swear to God, like, Tim Burton's Corpse Bride is possibly, like, I watched it, like, at least ten times just because I had the UMD and I was bored. And I watched a uh, Everything Wrong With Tim Burton's Corpse Bride video only recently and was like, I cannot remember any of these things happening in the movie. And then a few things came up where, like, the old, the uh, living evil dude is, like trying to get the corpse bride back and was just trying to betray her to like poison her for money or something for because she was from a rich family and i remembered his design and some of the singing skeletons designs and everything past that i was just like sure that might have happened like completely gone from my mind which says a lot <laughs> about my engagement with burton movies Sorry to piss on Tim Burton so much. He's driving a Porsche 911. She called it a Porsche. Yeah. I think that's the right way to say it, actually. So yeah, I'm winning. I'm winning. But just. Only just. You can see behind me. He's behind me just a little bit. I'm from the UK, so I don't know how much a yard is. <laughs> I should know, I just... We don't really use that much anymore. I think some road signs still use it. Anyway. Oh man, that PSP. I love the idea of the PSP. It's just such a shame, it's just... I had a bunch of games. There's a load of games I forgot as well. I wanted to get Loco Roco on it. And I never found a copy of Loco Roco. It was really weird. And every time I did, I was like, I'm not paying that much for Loco Roco. Like, I got the demo and was like, yeah, this is a good game. This would be a good little game for like £10 or less, right? And everywhere I went, it was like $29.99. And I'm like, the fuck? It's not that complicated, complex of a game. Weird. Did they have a Katamari game on there? I would have gotten that as well. Hmm. Anyway, let's talk about the Porsche instead of the PSP. Uh, we're going to go do the... Where is it? Uh, no, there, there we go. Ocean Drive. Looks like quite a long one. Uh, I have to handbrake turn. So, yeah, this car drives pretty well. It's pretty responsive. It gets around corners quickly. It's an okay engine sound. It's pretty good uh, acceleration. You might notice that from my previous video with the Diablo, it's maybe not accelerating as quickly. But it's not like it's wallowy. Dead. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's snappy, it's fast, it's fast enough. I don't think it's as fast, 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 as um, the Diablo I was driving in the previous video, but I like it. It's not too bad. I'm actually not, I didn't even modify it at all because the mod options are basically non-existent. It's like change the hood to pure carbon or stripey carbon change the back a little bit it's like virtually undetectable and I couldn't really think of a different color that I thought it would look good in so I just kept it the stock color as well and thought oh you know I didn't even change the rims or anything so I was like oh you know what like I don't know what looks good on a Porsche so I'm just gonna go with it yeah that guy looks like he has the same car as me up there huh. I've become the AI 
Is that me? Is that me better than me? <laughs> oh, kill me. Oh shit, he is better than me. I've been replaced by a bot. I knew this day would come. Oh, can bots do this? <laughs> uh, I'm still trying to work out if I like the cornering or if the cornering is up for me. It's kind of grippy, but it can like drift a little, and it's like a little tighter drift than like the Lamborghini Nino, and. Um, Why are all the cops talking like they're the same cops because of the same voice actor? <laughs> all of them have the same accent. There he is again. Me. You must fight me for the future. Seriously, where did he go? Holy shit. Why are they all rubber banding? Hacks. I call hacks. I gotta win this. Oh, I'm only like 50%. This is a long race. But you know, if I let them get a good lead, uh, I don't rubber band. Maybe they don't rubber band and I'm just bad. When in doubt, mash X. That will make me press the speedy juice. Hey, what? Maybe that's a different Porsche, just in the same color. Whatever. I'm a win. Oh. Yeah, take that SUV. Come back when you're offered viable. That'll teach him. <laughs> Does anyone remember that? Was that an energy drink? Was NOS an energy drink? I never, you know, it's one of those weird things, NOS, where I remember seeing it, I remember it being pl product placement in Fast and Furious movies, I remember my car guy friends going, oh yeah, let's get some NOS, because <laughs> it's like the nitrous, that thing I can't afford to put on my car and is illegal. And uh, I don't remember... I don't remember ever buying one or drinking one, but I also don't remember anyone I know ever drinking a can of NOS. It's like one of those weird fucking things where it's like, I remember it, I remember seeing it in shops, and I don't remember a single person buying it. Maybe that's why I've not seen them ever again. Are they still available? Are they still a product you can buy? That would be weird. What did they even taste like? It, it, I don't know what that would be. What flavor is NOS? Is it like fruity drink? Is it like tropical flavored? Or does it just taste like cola or something? Like what? You know what I do miss? Rockstar Energy. And Relentless. You have a lot of options for like edgy energy drinks in the UK and like where I am now you really just have um monster if you're lucky and like bad knockoff red bulls now oh, what did I get oh, of course it's not the ECU it's another NOS oh NOS I don't want that <laughs> 